What's up, Robert Spy? Hey, going to take you through a little video on rolling. Got some people uh, writing in and asking about it, so we figured what's the best way to do it. Let's uh, walk you through it. And for us, we essentially do your quads and your IT bands here. That's what we're doing this morning, all right? So stay with me. Goal here is that you're using your body weight to give yourself a poor man's massage. So the tendency is for people to let those legs come up. When you do that, you're taking your pressure off of that. So always try to drag your toes when you're on here. And all I'm doing is, is basically my quads in like a two inch section for about 30 seconds, back and forth, okay? And then after 30 seconds, then I'll move again to another section. And all I'll do on my quads is maybe four sections of 30 seconds, that's two minutes. Then what I'm gonna do is spend another 30 seconds to a minute just really rolling that through and you'll feel some bumps on there. If you get to a point where you feel like you're running over a speed bump, stop on that for a second and breathe a little bit. Try to relax and let that kind of dissolve in there and see if you can work those knots out. Then from there what I do is I stay down, hop on my hip, right here's my hip bone. I'm going to go hip bone to right above my kneecap here. And same thing, I'm going to start here and roll about a two inch section back and forth. You can lean forward a little bit and get a little farther up on the front of the leg or lean back and get a little farther back and just see if you got any knots in there. What you're doing over that 30 seconds is just really working on that little section. Then you're going to move forward. Again on this, don't let that leg slide up on your bottom leg. This leg, some people keep it on to keep a little more weight on there, whatever you want to do. Uh, but big goal is don't come up again on the front as well. Just get down into it and let that body really keep the body weight on there. After you've done those two inch sections, then you just spend, you know, a minute or so rolling and seeing if you got knots anywhere. And then you would turn over and uh, you could do your other leg again. I use this as my push foot. Some people keep it up here. But make sure you're down on your elbow, not up. Make sure the leg's not up. And then just do the other side as well. So something really good to do when you're watching TV at night. Give yourself a chance to really get kind of loosened up before your day starts the next day. People do this before working out, after working out, whenever. Biggest thing is, you know, if it really hurts and it, and it kind of digs on you, don't be doing it four times a day. Maybe do it once a day for a couple days or a day. Take a break the next day if it makes you really sore. That's proper foam rolling. Thanks for joining the Rush Flat.